Hi and welcome back to Rusty's Rustic Pantry. Um, this is a crab that I cooked and prepared in an earlier video which you may have seen and now I'm going to go over how to prepare this crab and dress it ready uh, to be eaten, ready for the table. Now there are two parts to the crab, or two main parts should I say. The cap which is the top piece here, the big shell underneath and then there's the body which is everything else underneath there. Now the easiest way to separate the cap from the body is to grab hold of the crab like so, thumbs at the back of the, the little uh, ridge there at the back of the cap and just push against it and that'll break away like so and you can open it up and there's all the meat inside the body and in the cap. Looks pretty hideous I know at this stage, um, you wouldn't think you'd be able to eat it but I tell you these for those of you who haven't actually had uh, fresh crab it is absolutely amazing. There are however a couple of bits and pieces in there you don't want to eat, you want to discard them. Um, they are the gills, or as some people call them, dead men's fingers. They're not necessarily poisonous but they are very tough and quite indigestible. Now they, you can see them here, they're the grey parts around the edge, sort of pointy pieces. There's a couple that have broken off as we took the cap off, They're just falling like that, very dark in colour. Just discard those out of the way and then to get them off of this, just very simply removed by grabbing hold of them and just pulling them off of the body at the side of the shell there, just beside the legs. As I say, they're not poisonous but they are pretty tough and indigestible. You don't really want them there on the plate. Get this last little bit here. They can just go straight into the bin. And that very basically is the body part ready. Um, in this middle part here, you'll be able to get a, a fork or a little tiny spoon and be able to scoop out the meat. In the side of the body parts here, in the shell, there's little pockets. And if you have a very, very small um, utensil of some description, perhaps you can fork out and pick out the meat in these little pockets. The shell on the body is very very weak and it's very easy to break away. Some people find it easier to cut the body in half that way and take out the meat from there. The claws have some lovely white meat in them. You will need um, preferably something like a nutcracker or something like that or something heavy that you can hit them with on the table to crack open the shells. You've got three joints in each claw and there's meat in each joint, quite a substantial amount. If you want to uh, invest the time and the effort you can take the meat from the legs as well. Again crack them open, they're slightly easier to crack open than the big claws uh, and there's plenty of meat in those. Now, as far as the cap is concerned what you do need to remove are the mouth parts and the digestive system that are here just behind where the eyes are. That's dead easy to do, it actually naturally breaks. If you apply pressure there you can hear it crack and if you pull it backwards like so the whole lot just comes out in one go and that is just discarded as well and the rest of everything else in here you can eat the crab, the cat meat in the crab I'll just get a fork and show you very very dark and it has the strongest flavour of all the meat you'll find there's some like clear membrane here that can be pulled out get rid of that, that's on both sides, just simply tears out. Um, there is, you, you probably won't be able to see very well here, but there are very faint lines uh, in the cab, crab cap shell there and you can actually break them open further to reveal the meat, but I then tend to leave them in. But the meat you can just scrape from either side, it's, it's very dark in colour. Um, if you've ever had crab paste, sort of the texture of that uh, and the flavour and there's lots and lots of meat in in the cap there okay that is ready to eat um, I think that'll probably be my lunch actually um, nice thing with the cap meat sometimes perhaps we'll put a little bit of pepper in there a tiny splash of vinegar mix it a bit and there you have it that's the easy way to, to dress a crab you can buy them in the shops and from your fishmongers already dressed and what you'll find is they'll break this shell further apart they'll already have 
scooped out the white meat as best they can from the body of the crab and packed it into the shell of the, the cap and you will just buy the cap like that stuffed with crab meat. Uh, it's a dead easy way of eating crab but obviously you're going to pay for the uh, time the fishmonger has spent uh, cleaning it out for you, preparing it. And that's it. Uh, brown crab made easy. Thanks for watching.